So like I mentioned, there are a lot of parallels between arteries and veins and how we name them. One reason for this, if we want to expand on that idea a little bit, is that arteries, veins, and nerves often share the same name because they are bundled together. And so you might see this term neurovascular bundle. That means we have at least one vein, one artery, and one nerve all traveling together. It's like a package. And we can see some of that here. We've got this pair, an artery and a vein, traveling together. And so they're going to share the same name. So we're going to go through veins of the upper extremity really quickly. I'm not going to point out the ones that share the same name, but there are a couple exceptions in the upper extremity. So let's start with that superior vena cava. Again, to orient ourselves, this is coming off of the right atrium. We're actually draining blood into that right atrium through the SVC, or superior vena cava. And then it's going to merge. So basically the most important thing to remember about veins is whichever the blood flow is through the arteries, we're going to have the opposite through the veins. So even though we're starting with the superior vena cava, I want you to remember that blood is flowing towards the heart. It's draining towards the heart. So it's not going away, even though we're following that same sequence to identify our veins. So we're going to have the same sequence as we saw with the arteries, where we start with the superior vena cava, or if we were dealing with arteries, it would be that brachiocephalic trunk. We're going to have a subclavian vein, axillary vein, and then actually we will have a brachial vein, but it dives deep. So we're not going to see it on our model here. We actually have two unique veins from this perspective. So vein number one on the inside here, more medial, is our basilic vein. We also have a cephalic vein, and that guy is going to be traveling from this outer split here along the humerus, and then it's more lateral. So these are the ones that we can actually see on our model. Even though we have that brachial vein, it's deep. What we have visible here is that basilic vein and our cephalic vein, and these are unique to our venous system. These two will unite at this little cross section called the median cubital vein. And this guy is interesting because Median means middle, it sits in the middle of these two veins. And this is a site where if you get blood drawn, they will try to take it from your median cubital vein. So it's a really clinically important vein, even though it's just a little, little guy here. So we're not too worried about those deep veins, but we will see radial and ulnar veins. Those connect to our brachial veins. So those are gonna be a little deeper, I can't test you on those. But all the others that we mentioned, starting with basilic and cephalic, median cubital, and then the stuff more superior, that's fair game for the test. 